Greetings everyone, this is Liminality Carp, and we are starting a new game. As you can see, we are starting Blossom Tales 2, The Minotaur Prince. Now, I played through Blossom Tales 1 previously on stream, and this one just recently came out, and since I enjoyed the first one so much, we're going to go ahead and play through this. I'm also going to be doing this a little bit differently than most of my other LPs lately. I'm not going to have a clear definitive end in between any of these episodes. I'm just going to keep on playing and we'll cut things up as makes sense because I don't know what to expect with this game. I kind of just want to go through and get through it, so let's start. Grandpa! Well, there goes your mushroom, Grandpa. It's in the fire now. Grandpa! Lily broke my sword! On purpose! It's just a dumb stick, and it was an accident! You didn't even ask if you could borrow it! You were jelly! Nah, -uh. You just didn't want to share! You're, sh you're selfish! Hell down, children. Don't you know, having a sibling is a special thing. You must learn to share and be nice to one another. You know, I have the perfect story for a night like this. But you, if you two can't behave, we can go to sleep instead. No! We'll be good! Yeah, we promise! Oh ho ho! Come, gather round. This tale is about a mischievous minotaur king and his young prince. Sounds cool. Am I in the story again, Grandpa? Oh ho ho, you are. And guess what? Chris is as well. About time. Yeah, so that's a nod to the fact that in the last game, uh, Lily was the main character and Chris was there listening, but he had no part in the actual story. Our story begins on a special day for the people of Blossom. Does the sleepyhead king rule there, Grandpa? Or a grumpy wizard with a ginormous head? No lords or castles here. <laughs> Only a small village and a girl named after a brave hero from very long ago. Lily, Chris, rise and shine. Oh no, what time is it, Grandma? Did we miss it? Good morning, children. Don't worry, the Minotaur Moon Festival is just getting started. Yay, it's finally here. Woohoo, I bet you can't get more Minotaur coins than me, sis. See ya! I've never seen Chris this excited. Please, take care of your brother out there, Lily. Sure. Bye, Grandma. Aren't you forgetting something, dear? Oh, my sword and shield. I've been waiting all year to use them at the, for the festival. We got a sword and shield. Thanks, Grandma. Love you. And now, we can attack and destroy everything. Stealing money from our old poor grandma. Which, actually, we got, you know, a decent bit of money. Don't tell Chris, but there's no way he'll get more mentor coins than you. Yep, exactly. Look, we're just getting all the mentor coins right now. Those are clearly mentor coins, right? But, uh, fairly standard controls as it says there. X for sword, square for shield, circle for something we don't have yet, and standard movement. And apparently this brought us right to the next cutscene, all right. Hello, citizens of Blossomdale, and welcome to the Minotaur Moon Festival. Please enjoy our games. They commemorate the great Minotaur battle fought long ago. 
Today is the tournament honoring the heroes who fought against the dreaded Minotaur King. Those who wish to participate must bring me five Minotaur coins. Now then, let out our special 500th Minotaur, let our special 500th Minotaur Moon Festival celebration commence. So this is definitely giving me a millennial festival from Chrono Trigger vibes right now. Hello there. My game tests your skills at wielding the noblest of weapons. Want to play? Yeah, sure. You must destroy all the dummies before time is up. Good luck. Where is our timer, though? Huh. I don't actually see a timer for this. Wow, you're quite the swordswoman. No one has beat the game as fast as you. You've rightfully earned this Minotaur coin. Yay, we got a Minotaur coin. I'm all out of dummies. Sorry. They're hard work to make, you know. Yeah, I imagine. And we uh, made short work of them. Also, you can kill the butterflies if you want. And this is a Zelda-esque game. You can destroy the grass. Sometimes there's stuff in there. Not this time, though. Ooh, we can destroy the cattails. Neat. I actually wasn't expecting that. Oh, and... Oh, uh, I was... It's waterfall. You gotta check all the waterfalls. There's almost always something hidden in waterfalls. Except for this one, apparently. Can't believe we celebrated the Minotaur King's defeat for 500 years! A friend of mine claims they saw a Minotaur, but it was probably just an ugly, hairy man. Alright. Well, what's this? Do you think you have what it takes to ring the bell on my strength tester? Let's see those muscles hit the lever with your most powerful strike. Hold your sword out for a moment to focus all your mighty warrior energy directly into your blade, just like Zelda. Release your charged sword to perform a mighty spin attack. Well, and there we go, we hit it. Well, that was quite the powerful strike. This Minotaur coin is all yours. Hello. Don't ask how, but I somehow got knocked out by a practice dummy. I bet mentors are just a fable, like that sleepy king from long ago. That's a reference to the first game because it was, I believe the title was like, blot, uh, the subtitle was, and the sleeping king or something like that because I shouldn't dwell on that one. Let's just continue. I wonder why the blacksmith never enters the tournament anymore. I can't collect all ten flags. Gotta ease up on those fried mushroom chips. We get all kinds of visitors during the festival. No mantors, fortunately. Okay, it looks like they all just have a rant, the same set of dialogue that they are all pulling from, so I don't need to talk to all the villagers then. Hello, is your sight sharp enough to follow the cup hiding my Minotaur coin? Prove it and the coin is yours. Sure, we'll play three card Monty. So it's in the center. You, you, you basically didn't move it. You, that was the slowest three card Monty, but then again, it's early game and this is, they want you to get all these coins. That's a swift set of peepers you got there. The coin's all yours. All right, we're up to three coins. Are you just generic? No, you're not. Lily, I saw your brother playing alone earlier. I thought you two were inseparable. Nope, apparently we're very separable. Ooh. That's a lucky clover that we apparently picked another one up earlier that I missed. Wow, look at those beefy biceps. You definitely have what it takes to play my game. When a ball drops, throw it in the open basket. Wanna try? Alright. So, this is getting you used to the throwing mechanic that I guess we will have to do in the game. I don't remember actually needing to throw stuff too much last time. But it could easily be because it's been so long since I last played. 
Oh, I've never seen such accuracy and strength. Have you ever thought of playing basketball? Take this mentor coin as your reward. We got four of the coins. And the grass is back. Nothing in the grass this time. Ooh, what's this? The Apple Bottoms, Apple's Bottom Shop. Okay. I wouldn't enter the north, the old graveyard to the north for all the mushroom soup in the world. Blossomdale will always be home, but I'd love to explore the world outside someday. Well, we can't go into that house apparently. Uh, Fortune Teller said I'd fall in love soon. I wonder if she's single. Our blacksmith comes from a long line of smiths. He can make anything. Well, that's good to know. Oh, hey, are you the fortune teller? Greetings, young one. Do you want a glimpse of what your future holds? Money, glory, death? Clear your mind as best you can and let us begin. Um, there is anger and regret, but also valor and heroism. I see in the extra the extraordinary allies and tremendous foes. Allies? Almost as old as our world itself. Their wisdom is unrivaled. Uh, I I am also seeing ill-fated treasure seekers and monstrous friendships. How interesting. I'm curious more about those friendships. Indeed, good company is sometimes found in unlikely places. Oh my I also see ghastly enemies. Wait, is that the Minotaur Moon? Moon? Yes, as it grows in power, but nothing is yet for certain. There is no denying that a great adventure awaits you. Good luck. I'm going to steal your stuff. I have no idea if that actually affected anything. All fortunes are final. That may have actually affected things. One thing to note from the first one that I think is going to be the same here. Sometimes your dialogue choices actually change minor things such as what you encounter. Fortune Toller told me to ask later. What's up with that? Yeah, that, that is kind of weird. Are you fast enough to collect my 10 flags and bring them back to me before the time is up? Yes. Be sure to roll as often as you can. You can pick up some speed doing that. Press triangle to roll. That's a little awkward for a button to roll, but okay. Each roll you perform uses a little bit of energy, so keep an eye on your energy bar. Also, be prepared to jump off a ledge. Press into the ledge to jump down. Ready, set, go! Alright, this is really making me think uh, Zelda Oracle games. There we go. It took a little bit before it let me actually jump. Hey, we got all ten. Wow, those little legs of yours can sure move your Minotaur coin, as promised. We got five Minotaur coins. Just a reminder, the tournament will be starting soon. Come speak to me if you wish to, if you want to participate. Well, I do want to participate, but also, I, well, I guess I can't go say hi to the blacksmith. I want to talk to other people. My brother says the tournament winner gets to touch a sacred blade, but he always lies. I was banned from the throwing game for hitting another player by accident. Well, that is unfortunate, but yeah, don't, don't hit other people when you're playing carnival games. That's a no-no. Well, yeah, it looks like we're not getting any... Ooh, no, we got another apple and lucky clover. Okay. No idea what those do yet, but I assume we'll find out eventually. And we've got all this up here to look at. All right, you're just saying things I've already heard from others. Ooh, and a flower. Can't go do anything up there. Can attack to get that. Lily wasn't ready to leave town just yet. He was trying to click five Minotaur coins to enter the tournament. I think I gave Grandpa a new voice. 
So, yep, we can't leave because the story doesn't want us to leave yet. Oh, did I try? Okay, yeah, I just can't go into any of these buildings. And there's nothing behind that waterfall either. Okay. There we go. Now it let me jump down. Well, I guess it is tournament time, everybody. Hello, Lily. How's your grandmother? I must say, she's quite a woman. Oh, you want to enter the tournament, and you've already collected five Minotaur coins. You're in luck. There's only one spot left. That means we can finally begin. Are you ready to enter the tournament? Yeah, why not? Greetings, everyone. It is time for the Minotaur Moon Tournament. Prepare for a grand battle, all in good fun to celebrate the Minotaur King's demise. The first match is between Lily and Kevin from our post office. I'm expecting... Really, Grandpa? The mail guy? What's he going to do? Give you paper cuts with letters? How about an adventurous swordsman from a faraway land? Boring! It should be a fierce knight with a cool lance! All right, all right. Uh, er, uh, um, what were the choices again? Jouster or swordsman? I kind of want to see what the jouster is. Round one. Fighters ready? Begin! Oh, come on. I thought I... There we go. It takes a little bit, it feels, to get your uh, shield out. It's not immediate. That or it's just because there's a... Well, we outright killed him. And the winner is... Lily! What a fighting spirit. Lily's next opponent will be... The legendary Sir Vigo Mondoya of... I still think Lily should fight the swordsman. If we didn't pick it last time, why would we now? Lily should fight a hulking brute that throws rocks. Wait, who are they again? Oh, uh, the swordsman. Let's go with this swordsman this time. They each get at least one. Round two. Fighters ready? Begin! Well, he went down fast. Lily wins again. My, where'd she learn to fight like that? For the final match, Lily's opponent will be... Chris the Crusher! Hey, you can't do that! Now, kids. It's too late. He's all right there and ready to kick your butt. Would you look at that? Lily's final opponent is none other than her brother, Chris. Get ready for a thrilling sibling brawl, folks. Final round. Fighters ready? Begin! Ow! That really hurt! Please, wait, sis! Oh no, are you hurt? Sensing that her brother was hurt, Lily did the honorable thing and stopped her attack. She did so because even though siblings may fight, deep down, they care for each other. But then Chris unleashed his sneak attack on his sister. No, you cheater. That's not fair. Grandpa. The crowd cheered for Chris, the tournament champion. Three cheers for Chris, the tournament champion. You're such a such a brat, Chris. Now, kids. Hey, it's just a story where I'm the champion. Nah, nah. Uh, I wish. I wish the Minotaur King would come and take you away. <gasps> oh, Minotaur King. Oh, Minotaur King. Wherever you may be, I wish you'd take my brother far away from me. This is giving me Labyrinth vibes now. Well, you got your wish. You're him, aren't you? You're the Minotaur King! I am. 
I should thank you for inviting the guest of honor. This is the Minotaur Moon Festival, after all. Where'd you take my brother? You know very well where he is. Far away, just as you wished. But, but I didn't mean it. Please, bring him back. What said is said, so forget your brother. Take your sword and go play. Farewell, Blossomdale. Enjoy your festival while you still can. <laughs> Give me back my brother now. Uh, looks like we're not getting our brother back anytime soon. Dang, Grandpa, I've been kidnapped. That's sort of cool. So, the Minotaur King stole Chris away. He did indeed. Far, far away. Just like you said. Lily? I feel terrible. Where's Chris? Wait! The Minotaur King took my brother. It's all my fault. We all make mistakes, honey. You... I gotta save him! I don't care if the Minotaur King is powerful! This is all my fault, so I'll get stronger and defeat him! How do I even do that, though? Well, first thing you'll need is a better weapon, dear. You can find what you're looking for in the old graveyard, north of town. Thanks, Grandma! Do you really think I can do it? I believe anyone can change the course of the future. Thanks, Grandma. I won't let you and Chris down. Good luck, Lily. And please, be safe. If you ever need help, come back to me for advice. Show me your map. I'll mark the old graveyard for you. So, here's our map. It... Okay, a little... May... Okay, actually a good bit bigger than in the old... Than in the other one. Because in the other one, it was just like this right here. If I remember correctly. I'm sure you'll be able to get Chris back. Thank you for your confidence. I'm not going to steal more money because money. And we got two. We have two of something, but I don't know what that red ball thing is. Oh, and there was a lucky clover up there that I didn't even notice until I left. Oh, well. <laughs> 